Saturday, and we are finished. Zoop, zoop. My eye keeps drifting down to that corner because I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, yeah, I got this typewriter here. This is a Royal P, not a Royal Pain, but it's a very, very cool typewriter. Uh, it's got new rubber all the way, well, new-ish rubber. This is rubber that I um, scavenged from like a newer Royal, and it's very soft, very rubbery. It's got new feet that was scavenged from a newer Royal, and they fit well. And this is the Deco Sunburst, as I'm calling it, the Royal Deco, Deco. And I put new key tops on it. Yeah, that was fun and a pain and took me hours. I didn't have a tabulator button printed out, so that's gonna be the reminder of what this machine used to be. And then while I was in here uh, doing the, the keys, I was like, man, I wish I had a dealer shift. And then I re remembered I had, had my little stickers, like one inch small stickers. And so I exacto knife to uh, circle out of that and stuck my dealer shift in there. The real shift key is underneath that. So if for some reason you want to pop it off, it's easy to just pop this ring, pull out that hot rod, and then you got the shift under there. So it's complete and it types great. Everything's good. New ribbon. Bell dings. I think I've shown the video of this, so this is just kind of like a, a YouTube thing. So we can all just kind of see. It's got this like root beer, uh, fool's gold color in spots. It's You can see there's like, I did the darker candy highlights, and then there's the lighter in the middle. And when you place gold on top of brown, it turns orange. And so that's what this, all these stripes are done in, in a brown. This is all brown. All this stuff is brown underneath. So that's where the, the color morphed into, but it looks great. It feels good too, it feels brand new. I mean, it's probably not the, the cleanest typewriter in the world, I cleaned it, but I didn't do like a, a Lucas Dull and destroy, I mean, take apart the whole thing and uh, scrub every inch of it but it was taken apart and cleaned and I just didn't pull every individual component apart and clean it. But we'll put some paper in you guys. Take it for a test drive. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Let's see here. Here's my cheater sheet. I did a couple lines through it just to make sure there's gonna be no, feeds good because it has new, new rubber. Let's see. Cool. Look at that. It's a Pika Pika machine. This is the business you get is ready to go. I really, oh, that was my fault. I was just getting too fast. The way this machine turned out and this thing is ready to go to its new home. It's been aligned. The alignment took a while too because, you know, Royal has the, it's a pain in the butt to do with the body on and I forgot to do the alignment with the body off so had little tools in there and yeah you guys you guys know what it's like to do tiny tiny work but yeah it's all aligned types great types clean dark i redid all these legends so this is all new lacquer stick or paint stick Underneath, it's all clean. Like I said, the new feet, new rubbery feet. The case isn't that great. I mean, it was the case is falling apart. So I, I was thinking about redoing the case and like sanding it and doing all that. But I got so much work, guys. I can't do the case. So the case is just gonna have to go um, as a side option. I mean, it'll work. It'll hold the machine and cover it, but it's not pretty. 
and it's kind of rickety, but it'll get it shipped out. You wouldn't want to put this in a case anyway, guys, right? I mean, you wouldn't want to leave this in the case. This machine deserves to be out in the open where everyone can see it. I like these little deco boxes. All of this stuff is pretty organic, guys. Like when I tape all this stuff off, because this is all like micro tape, micro vinyl tape and tape lines. And then I go over and airbrush around the, the tape and peel the tape off. You guys seen the video of that too. I have it on my channel, but um, this is all organic. Like I, I sit there with the blank machine and and lay down one piece of tape and then it just st starts coming to me, you know, and that's the way you, you do these things. You kind of have a plan like what, like I think th the only thing I really wanted to do was the circle thing. That when I when I got this machine, I was like, yeah, I want to paint a circle on those. And then it turned out better than I thought. I thought it, maybe I, eh, it wasn't gonna look too great just having the circles, but the way that the uh, the paint and the fades came in, I mean, it's almost like an acoustic guitar. <laughs> That's you know, sunburst guitars. That's it's almost the same painting process as sunburst guitars. But then I started looking at deco art, deco pictures and designs and. You, know, you see a lot of these basic geometry, geometrical shapes. There's the front of it, this curve. You can see my lines are getting better, guys. From my, my first, this is like my fourth machine that I've done. And my lines are already, my eye is getting better at putting down the spacing because this is all one continuous strip of tape. I have to start here and go wrap it all around with my finger and I'm eyeballing the whole machine all of this all these tape lines are all eyeballed and no measurements so it is what it is I mean it's just calibrated eye time but guys I'm just rambling on but I'm just enjoying this machine because um, I do have some interested people in it um, some people interested in it I'm sorry but uh, I don't know if they're super set on getting it um, they're they're kind of I don't know it's it's open this machine is still open to offers and any interests people have just let me know we'll get it to you it's not gonna be super expensive because I want to do more you know this isn't my last and final hurrah I'm not gonna retire off this machine take the winnings and go to the next talk to you guys later Hot Rod Tapper Company.